Okay guys, so just a update on the Linear Variac restoration project. Uh, as you can see there, I've got it all laid out on the desk, uh, all in its little uh, places, basically like an exploded diagram, really. Uh, that's about as far as I want to go with tearing it apart. Um, if I was to take out these bolts on the end here, as you can see, they will actually separate the laminates a bit and I don't really want to do that too much because it might cause vibration later on so I'm keeping those tight as they are and just basically cleaning around, cleaning that up. Um, I stuck some wax in between the laminates as well because that was starting to rust a bit so I just thought I'd wax those through with some T9 so that's uh, that'll eat its way in, well penetrate in and actually just seal that up nicely and then uh, pol polish the commutator as you can see there and then uh, put some contact cleaner on there as well just to bring it up real nice and also the brush assembly as you can see down there so that's all nice and clean ready to go as with the the chain uh, dip that into some petrol and let that soak nicely before washing it all off afterwards and uh, the rods as you can see the the brush rods are all there and the holders, all the little bits cogwheels, uh, terminals, the wiring loom over the back as you can see along with the uh, the gauge that tells you what percentage you're at is over the back too uh, there's the handle there, that's ready to be painted still yet guys as you can see over the other side of the garage at the moment we've got the paint shop that's all drying over there still so that's uh, that's a hammered effect I've gone for over there they only do um, silver and black so I combined the two to make grey basically because the last one I did it's not quite the grey I wanted but it's it's pretty close that was the last one I did so I've, I've mixed it to get this new colour you might be able to see on top of there so it's a darker grey so that that'll come out pretty close to like the navy grey that was originally on this that you can still see on the handle there actually guys so yeah that's uh, that's the plan anyway so hopefully that will all come out nicely from the spray shop and then that's basically the progress so far guys so yep that is it so probably the next time you'll see this this will all be back together and uh, nice and neat hopefully it will all go back together nicely um, yeah I did a slight repair I noticed there was a crack on that guy there. That's a plastic um, component for holding the rods in on the end. You see a matching one over there over the back which is just for sitting up on top of here holding the rods. That one had a crack in it so I've, uh, I've put an aerodite in there an epoxy glue and just uh, let that set overnight and then I'll just cut out the excess off that then and that'll stick on there real nice. It's the kind of plastic which is sort of like, um, it's like porous on the inside if you know what I mean when it cracks so the the um, epoxy glue will actually set into that real nicely and fix that really well. So that will be no problem then, not as much stress on that really, the actual component. So yeah, and then uh, afterwards it's just a matter of putting it all back together and I'm planning on using a, um, a dry lubricant for this instead of it being grease like the previous person used and it's all gone gooey and sticky so um, I'm actually using this graphite here as a John High Voltage Projects actually mentioned to use so I'm going to use that on the chain and on the handle and all of the other moving parts basically like the rods, rod assembly there it's all going to be graphited with a small amount of graphite and that's all it needs then so it doesn't go all gooey doesn't go all gooey like it was before and needs cleaning out so that'll stay dust free pretty much nothing will stick onto it so yeah that'll be nice and smooth next time it's uh, on a video guys so yep that's it guys for now that's just your update halfway through the project of the Virco Linear Variac it's the 15, 15 amp one and uh, yep hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll see you all again next time okay cheers guys Nice.